Hey guys, this is Patience, and um, I'm just going to give my week, my update just a little bit early, only because I'm just getting ready to saw my food and um, do my food for the week. Um, I had my class today with my trainer, and you know, um, for me, this is like totally different. And the only thing I have to do is be committed to it. I, it's hard for me to commit to someone else's program. I mean, because you make yourself so, what I found today, you make yourself just so vulnerable to um, other people's ideas. And I guess part of life is being vulnerable to other people's idea. And, um, and then, so the class went pretty well. Um, the lady, Lisa Tinker Potts. Um, she's very, um, she's very motivating. First of all, she's gorgeous. She obviously takes care of her body, and I have, I have this great respect for people who are over forty who takes care of their body because I myself know how hard it is just to maintain a weight, but to maintain a physically fit body takes some skill, dedication hard work and um oh what's the other word i'm looking for but it takes a whole lot and um and this contest that i'm entering um on the it's not a contest but it's just an event and um i'm fortunate to be i i feel so fortunate to be a part of such a large group of 30 women um I'm sure, you know, because the diet is so so strict and she expects you to follow it. Um, you know, only the strong will survive is all I can say. But it's great. Um, this, is, this really, last week wasn't my official start week. This is the official start week of the program. And it goes through September the 3rd, but the competition is actually a month after um, the, this this is over. So, um, it's great, because I don't know if you can see, but I, I'm starting to have a lot of definition already. Just, well, maybe I'm starting to lose some body fat. It's, it's kind of weird just to, I got ready to go to Stone Mountain, and um, I was like, whoa. So, in just a week, and not really, I took her program into consideration, um, just not taking it full. I can only imagine what my results will be. And she's like, push your body beyond the point that you've never pushed it before. And mentally, that takes you somewhere. Because if you've ever been in a gym, you'd be like, oh, I don't feel like doing this today. You get to walk away. But when you're with someone else and in their program, they don't allow you to walk away. So this is going to be an interesting ride. It's going to be an unbelievable experience for me. Um, just allowing someone to lead me in far as my fitness goes. Because over the past six years, I've been leading myself with no instruction, just books and my own trial and error. But I guess I'm at a point where... I can't, I, you can only take yourself so far and you have to seek help from others. So it's okay. So, dun 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 dun. So last week, I lost, I lost four pounds. Yay, me, right? But as you can see, I'm putting on a little definition. So I lost some inches and I'm putting on some muscle muscle mass again which obviously which is good so something is working so i'm happy about that but my trainer when i just look around her building and you think man as i was going out to my car i said this lady know what she talk about she run like a bikini competition and she's like was at the top of her game so who am I to say, girl, I want to eat that stuff, but you know what? I'm going to commit myself to eating that stuff that she she gave me a diet plan today. Last week, she took a, a list of things that we like and things that we could eat. 
So she gave me a diet plan, but I already messed up, but it's too late now. And um, I'm gonna just show you, kind of show you my my stuff for the week. Um, oh, one thing I didn't forget. She wants us to kind of limit our packaged processed foods to um, two a week. And um, so really I already messed up, but hey, it's too late now because I'm not taking this chicken back. So everything here is my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All here on this table have apples with a pear and bananas. I get to have one of these as a midday snack, but I don't know if I'm going to eat this apple, but I'm going to give it a try because I said, I don't know if I can eat all that stuff you just say, Lisa. But here's my protein for the week. Uh-oh. I forgot my tilapia, but know that I have fish. So I have fish and chicken. These are the perfect portions, but obviously they have water and salt in them. But it is what it is this week. I'm just going to have to drink more water. And hopefully I will retain and don't add any more salt to anything else. Because she wants not to use any cooking spray or anything like that. Um, so this with a third cup of brown rice is lunch with as much spinach as I want. <laughs> Um, breakfast for me is four to five egg whites. I'm going to try it. I don't know if I can get four to five egg whites down. Well, I have this with some vegetables in it. So with spinach in it. And we're going to see with half a cup of strawberries. And that's breakfast. And lunch, I already told you, dinner would be tilapia, spinach, a third, no, I don't get any rice for dinner. <laughs> yeah, I don't get any rice for dinner. So, I get tilapia. Um, I can't have sweet potato twice a week for dinner. Or I have to have a green vegetable, basically. And a snack, I get to have a yogurt at night. And I get to have, oh, the tuna pack is one of my lunch, one of my lunch choices for the week as well. Um, oh, with rice cakes. I can have tuna with rice cakes in a really short for time. That's one of the options that she gave us. Tuna and rice cakes. So I picked up a couple of packs of tuna and my rice cakes. Two rice cakes is what I get. And, um, oh. I'm sorry. I get eight almonds with an apple or banana as a snack. And that's about it. That's my diet for the week. In a nutshell, what I have? Breakfast. I have five meals. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. That's six. Yeah. So that's it. That's about it. I get four ounces of meat. So I'll be eating all day, every two and a half hours. So wish me luck. And oh my gosh, my heart is so full of things that um, I'm just, I'm just full. But anyway, but it's nice to see some changes going on. And you can see, I just, I like that. So anyway, um, and I miss the packing, get ready for my house and pray for my papa. Cause he hurt his leg. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But anyway, have a great day. Great weekend, guys. Talk to you soon. Wish me well this week. Bye.